This video will demonstrate the process for terminating a 50 micron multi-mode LC connector onto 900 micron tight buffered cable. The steps for doing either a 9 micron single mode LC or a 62.5 micron multi-mode LC are the same, with the exception of the launch cord needed and the settings on the tool. To do one of these connector types, ensure the proper settings have been selected on the tool and then follow the termination process as normal. Please refer to instruction manual FS133 to review the correct launch cord required for these terminations. First, check to make sure the settings on the tool match the type of connector setup you are about to do. In this example, the LC, MM50, and right settings are highlighted in red to indicate a 50 micron multi-mode LC connector using a right-handed setup. Click the save icon. It is vital to clean both ends of the launch cord every 50 to 60 terminations. To do this, first remove the adapter and then the alignment sleeve. Using an approved wipe and cleaning solution, clean the ferrule end face by running it from the wet portion of the wipe to the dry portion of the wipe. Remove the dust cap from the connector on the other end and clean this ferrule as well. Pre-saturated cleaning wipes are not recommended for this process. Replace the alignment sleeve, checking to make sure it is not cracked or chipped. Finally, replace the adapter, making sure it's hand tight. Insert the LC connector into the port on the top of the tool. Next, lock the adapter into the appropriate cradle, ensuring that the circular aperture faces down toward the tool. Remove the dust cap and boot from the connector ferrule, then clean the ferrule end face using an approved wipe and cleaning solution. Insert the ferrule under the connector into the adapter and snap it into the cradle. Insert the fiber strand into the narrow end of the boot, then slide the boot back along the cable. Using the LC template cards provided with every OptiCam kit, make a stripping mark on the buffer at 1.18 inches or 30 millimeters from the end of the fiber strand. Make an insertion mark on the buffer 0.59 inches or 15 millimeters to the left of the stripping mark. In short increments, strip the buffer and acrylate down to bare fiber, all the way to the strip mark on the buffer. Next, use an approved wipe and cleaning solution to clean any dust, residue, or debris from the bare fiber. If using the FJ QCVR cleaver, cleave the bare fiber to 7 millimeters. Press the handle at the back of the cleaver to lift the grip. Slide the bare fiber through the V-groove until the end of the buffer sits at the 7 millimeter mark. Release the handle so that the grip lowers onto the fiber, holding it in place. Keeping the fiber taut, gently depress the blade onto the fiber once and only once to score the fiber. Finally, gently bend the tongue until the fiber snaps. Using the LC template card, verify that the cleaved fiber is seven millimeters long. If using the FSP CVR cleaver, open the lid and then press the silver metal square found on the right side of the cleaver until the blade locks in place on the far left side of the cleave area. Advance the fiber in the rightmost groove until the end of the buffer sits at the front edge of the black pad, which is aligned to the 7mm mark on the right. Close the lid to complete the cleave. Using the LC template card, verify that the cleave fiber is 7mm long. With the black arrow at the bottom right of the tool's screen highlighted, 
click the black button on the tool to perform the background test to begin the process. After a brief moment, the tool should move to the insert fiber screen. If the tool presents a check failed message, follow the troubleshooting steps. Once the screen reads insert fiber, insert the fiber into the connector, ensuring that the fiber goes into the white insertion tube at the back of the connector. Make sure you are following laser safety protocols, such as not looking directly into the rear of the connector as you line up the fiber with the insertion tube. There is a laser present and activated, though it is not visible. Advance the fiber until it stops, indicating it is mated with the fiber inside the connector. The insertion mark on the buffer should line up with the back part of the connector and the screen should switch to a cam and test message. At this point, it is important to maintain forward pressure on the fiber as you cam the connector by rotating the body of the connector towards you for a right-handed setup or away from you for a left-handed setup. Once the connector is fully cammed, click the button to perform the insertion loss calculation. The tool's default pass-fail value is 0.75 dB insertion loss, though this can be adjusted in the settings if the job or project requirements call for a specific value. If the connector fails, uncam the connector and return to step 6 to prepare the fiber for cleaning and cleaving again. If the connector has achieved a satisfactory result on the calculated insertion loss, remove the connector from the cradle and adapter by gently pulling up on the rear of the connector. Once the connector is removed from the tool, immediately replace the dust cap on the ferrule. Now, slide the boot up onto the connector. This completes the termination process for a 50 micron multi-mode LC connector onto 900 micron tight buffered cable using the Opticam 2 tool. For instructions and additional parts required for termination onto 2 or 3 millimeter cable or 250 micron loose tube fiber with a buildup, please refer to the full instruction manual for Opticam 2, document FS133, available on Panduit.com.